Do you remember when you were in college? Remember how smart you thought you were? How you thought you had it all figured out? And then you realize just how ignorant you were? The world slapped you in the face with a reality check and you had to learn your place and how to operate in it? Okay, now remove all of that last part. None of that other stuff happened. You're just an ignorant college student who's never lived in the real world. And now you're a congresswoman. Hey, Gavin McGinnis is in the third chair. Hello! Defendgavin.com is where people nice. go right now to defend you uh, from the SPLC, yeah. right? Yes, to help nice. me fight. And they can give you some money, right? The best offense is a good defense, and a good defense means muchos dineros. Is that what it means? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to be talking about the Green New Deal. Hold your thoughts. <laughs> Before we get to it, okay, question of the day. What part of uh, Cortez is Alexandria? Is it Alexandria, Akat, Nina, Pinta, Santa Maria, Cortez? Yeah, you gotta get it yeah. yeah. What part of uh, Cortez's Green New Deal is your favorite? Was it, was it uh, the eliminating air travel, the farting cows, the complete lack of self-awareness in drafting a bill whose language was found once upon a time exclusively in the limitations of an insane person? Let me know. I have mine. We'll go through <laughs> <Yes>. all of it. <laughs> um, I vote yes on let's, all of it. Let's go context <laughs> yes. first. There's, everyone's been talking about the, the yeah. Green New Deal. I think you've talked about it quite a bit, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's the best thing for Trump that ever existed. <laughs> that and, unfortunately, the 40-week abortion. They turned well, abortion yeah. into yeah. a winning yeah. issue, but now they've turned energy into a winning issue. Let's stand back. Let's take some time off and just <laughs> let them destroy themselves. <laughs> True. One thing I will say, unfortunately, there's been a lot of fake news surrounding it, and there's been some real news that the supposedly real news claims is fake news, but then they admit that it's real news. If it sounds confusing, it's mm. because there's no real news. <laughs> So I'm going to do my best to try and uh, separate fact from fiction. I would say there are four main takeaways from the Green New Deal. Uh, the first takeaway is the new insanity baseline of the left. The first thing everyone noticed was that the bill is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. But it also reads as if written by a crazy person, uh, maybe because it was spearheaded by this crazy person. The world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. And your biggest issue Yay! is... <laughs> your, your biggest issue is... How are we going to pay for it? Mm -hmm. And, like, this what? is and the war. I... This is our World War II. Uh, okay, listen. Whoa. Do we still have to pretend like she, she sounds intelligent? Do we no. have to? No. Do we have <laughs> Please to no. continue this facade? I don't like Nancy Pelosi. I right. don't like Hillary Clinton. They don't sound borderline retarded as she does. <laughs> Why is paying for it an irrelevant in in detail? I know. Like, yeah. Okay, say the world is going to end. How are we going to pay for it? That's right. a really big detail. It seems as though that's something they wouldn't gloss over in Armageddon. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. if you can't pay for it, guess what? The world's going to end, and it yeah. sucks. It, by the way, according to its own FAQ summary, the Green New Deal called for every single building in America to be rebuilt, uh, high-speed railroads to replace air travel, eliminate actual cow farts, Put that in quotes because it's real. This isn't air quotes. That's I don't know a, if you can use air quotes thing. for real quotes. Uh, it wanted to provide that's a real. living wage job to everyone yeah. willing to work, but more importantly, provide a basic income to everyone unwilling to oh, work. Oh, dear God. And what's important about this is when <laughs> this is uh, because people talk about fake news, and there was a lot of fake news surrounding this story. There was, yeah. When called on these facts, Cortez and the friends, they claimed fake news, of course. <laughs> Then they just said, well, the wrong draft had been uploaded. And we'll get to more of that later. So the horrors of the disorganized rollout are surpassed only by the ridiculous demands in the actual bill. Uh, it's as extreme as it gets. That thing people need, to, to, need yeah. to note that. And I would encourage you all to go read it. But who endorsed it? Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, Kristen Gillibrand, uh, Elizabeth Warren. Anyone else? I miss? Pretty much everyone <laughs> yeah. in the DNC. Yeah, everybody's going to run for president. Potentially, yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Panac like, potentially your next commander. Put, in mine in. Yeah. put my name in. Cory Booker, too. <laughs> Again, we're talking about letting the left destroy themselves. Cory Booker went on this rant comparing the Green New Deal to fighting Nazis and landing on the moon or something. Here you go. Oh, it's too expensive. Oh, it's all of this. If we used yes. to govern our dreams that way, we would have never gone to the moon. Is that why they hate the wall? Who came forward <laughs> see the to save Earth from the scourge of, of Nazis, totalitarian regimes? Oh, we came shut forward. Up. I, can't, I really can't mm. follow him. He goes no, to the moon no. and Nazis. I don't know. I don't is know this... what they're trying to do Cory here. Booker but... is my least favorite white person in America. <laughs> yes. He makes me feel racist towards Followed white people. closely by his good friend T-Pain. Yeah. Was well, it T-Pain or T-Bone? T-Bone. T-Bone, right? T-Bone. Yeah, I'm T-Bone. The, the funny well, thing. Maybe we should call you T-Bone. <laughs> T-Bone. <laughs> yeah. Vice President T-Bone. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, hit the notification bell uh, if you haven't joined MugClub, loudcrowder.com slash MugClub, because apparently subscriptions don't mean anything on YouTube anymore. So notification bell, MugClub, of course, subscribe on iTunes so you can listen to the audio version. I think another takeaway that's really important is uh, this highlights the left's true agenda, yeah. which is socialism. The Green New Deal is really yeah. not about the climate. It's about socialism. The premise of the bill is that it somehow benefits the environment. But something people have been missing is that it conveniently involves a tippy-toe toward the government effectively seizing private property and then rebuilding it. Temporarily. Mm. They're going to give it back. Oh, of course. They're trustworthy. 
Yes. This this is <laughs> yeah. this is I, I don't know why not more people have been now I sound like Cortez. I don't know why <laughs> so few people have been discussing this. It requires dramatically increased government control of almost every industry from the top down. Think of it, uh, transportation, farming, you name it, government controls. Cortez admits, by the way, the private sector can't fund everything proposed. She even admits that the tax, the billionaire solution will not work for this. That's something that's important yeah. to note. They, they say, oh, you're, you care more about the money. Okay, well, where are you going to get the money? This is really the main problem, I think, <laughs> that people need to note everyone else who's not a climate change activist uh, that we have with climate change activists. It's not really about science. It's about advancing socialism. Now, of course, there yeah. are tons of, everyone out there can acknowledge climate change to some degree, of course. But people like Cortez and Bernie and the progressive left, they're not arguing about the science or even about whether the government could fix the problem. They're just huddled up asking how much government control is needed to alter your personal life and the environment destroying habits. Yeah. They're not even at the point with, oh, hold on a second, how far are we in the scientific trail? Yeah. And how much do we think the government could actually do? It's, this is accepted, the only person who can solve this problem is the United States government, just how far do we want to go? Yeah. Yeah. And that to me is, uh, is a very scary thought. Yeah, so we did. It, hyperbole here replaces science because the ends justify the means. That's what you're saying right now with yeah. the climate change alarmists. So, in case you've forgotten, by the way, uh, here's Cortez claiming that the world would end in 12 years because of climate. I know you might have forgotten. The world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. And your biggest issue <laughs> is... <laughs> Oh, well, that's your, enough. We don't, need to, get, we don't need to watch the rest of that clip. Uh, I think <laughs> takeaway three is the depth <laughs> of the left's deception right now. Uh, despite, of course, being endorsed by all the top-level Democrats, how many? Pretty much all of them. Green New Deal <laughs> rightfully drew a ton of criticism. The bill was so trash that Cortez... Cortez, sorry, I have to make sure I get it right. I love how yeah, all of these... Correct. Brian Williams are. Wilson, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. This is Nicaragua. <laughs> they removed the FAQ document, by the way, from the website. And they tried to gaslight everyone into thinking that they never pushed any of these crazy agendas. Yeah. This happened on Tucker Carlson. Her policy advisor claimed the line about the unwilling to work was something Cortez would have never written and that Tucker was looking at a doctored version. Uh, this, by the way, is a video that Cortez retweeted herself. Ooh. Yeah, really. Do we ever pay people who are, quote, unwilling to work? Uh, I, we, we never would, right? And, and AOC has never said anything like that, right? I think you're referring to some sort of a document that some, I think some doctored document that somebody well, other than well, us has been circulating. Except, ex except she, she did and you would and it's in your document. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, by the way, nice. that specific line is still available in the archived version. I believe on her website. Oops. You can go check it out right <laughs> oh, now. Oh, she also picked like the least credible guy that you could possibly pick to defend her on there. Yeah, by what the way, does Lindsay a Buckingham know yeah. about the new I deal? I thought it was Sideshow Bob. If that is <laughs> not a toupee, he is working really hard to trick us. <laughs> yeah. And this is so important too. Cortez pushed very like, lies about the bill continually. Claiming the document had been doctored by Republicans, then pivoting and saying there was a draft that was accidentally leaked. Here's the problem, okay? <laughs> she released the FAQ herself. Answered questions about it all day. <laughs> NPR even ran an article. It was almost like an ask me anything. She didn't realize the FAQ was an accident. She didn't remove it from her site until everyone who was not a DNC candidate or official took a steaming corn infested shit on this. <laughs> and by the way, the metadata for the PDF shows that it was created and posted by Cortez is chief of staff. <laughs> nice. So she can't even she can't even claim that she yeah. didn't know what was going on. So this, this means insane. one of two things. Okay, either A, Cortez and her equally googly staff are far too disorganized to be in any position of government authority, yes. or B, Cortez and her staff knowingly pushed lies. Yes. Which given the continual nature of the ethic, seems much more likely. Yeah. See all of the above. It wasn't like once, <laughs> oh, I wish I could pull that back. It's let me answer I'm willing to work. Yes. Cow farts. Let me put in. This is a good idea. I feel good about these choices. I'm going to keep making them. What? Why am I talking? Yeah, exactly. Uh, the fourth and final takeaway is uh, when you shine a light on the left, I think you see this from, from this bill here, they scurry. They retreat. Mitch McConnell yeah. announced Tuesday they would call for a Senate vote. <laughs> on the Green New Deal. Brilliant. They freaked. <laughs> Democrats completely freaked. Senator Markey, co-author, by the way, of the Green New Deal, called the vote sabotage. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how that works. If the Senate refused to vote, <laughs> wouldn't Republicans be accused of obstruction? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, they would be accused uh, of yeah, obstruction. Yeah, Let's yeah. be honest. Not could they be. That's exactly yeah, how that's it, right. would, it would happen. The Democrats will have to admit right now that they are the party of complete socialism. It used to be veiled. Remember when they used to say, well, when you're saying socialist, you really want to say the N-word. Remember for Obama, they were like, so it's, yeah. it's, it's a synonym. It's just racism, and you use socialist as a dog whistle. You want to apply that to Bernie? You want to apply, do you want to apply it to Booker, <laughs> Warren, to, to Cortez? At what point do you go, no, listen, you're just actual socialists. Right. Also, by the way, in case you missed it, uh, there are people <laughs> shitting in our streets. Yes. Nonstop. <laughs> we, don't we can't fix it. We're anything. just going to create an app that lets you know where they're continually yeah. 
pooping in the streets. <laughs> that, have, you, have you seen that app? It's going to be pooping. Yeah, yeah, I have. It's and, unbelievable. And it, well, hotels have maps now that have this bum areas, and bum used to mean homeless man. Now it actually means a person's buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> the bum areas of San Francisco completely blacked out. Because if you go there, you will be like Katie Hopkins was, skating on fecal matter. Oh my like gosh. you slip and slide like you're on a hockey rink. Yeah, here's the deal. There were some false memes out there. I think that's important to note. And there yes. were some fake news pushed regarding the Green New Deal, which is a shame because the truth is enough. Read the bill. Read the archived FAQ for yourself. Let me know what you think. This bill, in and of itself, without any embellishment, exposed the actual agenda of today's left. By the way, where are the valiant media fact checkers? Cortez and her senior officials just claim lies, fake news, and no one calls them on it? No one, more importantly, the fact that Cortez is now the face of the DNC for many people and that the media just goes along with it is alarming to the nth degree. Let me paint a picture for you. This is why I think a lot of people on the right can't stand Cortez and a lot of people on the left love her, but they can't articulate it. Um, think back right now. Do you remember when you were in college, okay? Remember how smart you thought you were, how you thought you had it all figured out? Then remember when you had your first real time like job yeah. in the real world, full-time job. Maybe when you got engaged, married, maybe you had some kids. And then you realize just how ignorant you were. The world slapped you in the face with a reality check and you had to learn your place and how to operate in it. Okay, now remove all that last part. None of that other stuff happened. You're just an ignorant college student who's never lived in the real world. And now you're a congresswoman <laughs> spending other people's money. That's how this bill gets made. That's who Cortez is. And that's who could be in line for the presidency of your country. Okay, if you like this video, you know, you watch videos on YouTube. If I were Jimmy Kimmel, if I were Stephen Colbert, or Trevor Noah, I would tell you to subscribe. But I have no corporate overlords who demand that I do this demeaning promo. I do the demeaning promo because I choose to. Subscribe or hit the notification bell because I need you. I need you! Please do it!